Hey, it's Eric again, back with another Portland food focus from my car. Figured we'd hit three places in one today. Go down to Happy Valley Station, a great food cart pod in Happy Valley, where we're going to try Bite Me Burgers, Montage a la carte, and VN Corner. Three great places, one hopefully fun video. Let's eat. Do you hear that sound, ladies and gentlemen? The rain has returned to Portland. I, for one, couldn't be happier. It's been a very hot and dry summer, and one that has extended, in this case, back through about April of 2021. After the wildfire and smoke that we had blow through the Portland metro area last year, we were all pretty concerned. <laughs> naturally about a recurrence or perhaps something even worse. And that concern was only magnified after we had the three hottest days in the history of Portland right in a row in June. Fortunately here in the Portland metro area, we were mostly spared in the way of smoke in the skies. And overall, from a destruction and damage standpoint, I think it was a much less violent wildfire season than 2020. Nevertheless, however, Portland has shifted into its second of two seasons, the rainy season. Many people incorrectly assume that the rainy season in Portland entails a lot of thunderstorms, a lot of heavy downpours, and that's just not the case. It's like a three out of 10 on the intensity scale. Very tolerable, but nevertheless, today I've donned my rain jacket to protect myself against the raindrops. But we're not here to talk about the weather. We're here to talk about Happy Valley Station. It's a food cart I've visited on multiple occasions for previous Portland Food Focus videos. But I thought, you know, why not go there and just try to knock out three places in one video? So that's what I've done. Today we've got a double cheeseburger from Bite Me Burgers. We've got a banh mi sandwich from VN Corner and we've got a bowl of pesto mac and cheese from Montage a la carte. All three food carts located in Happy Valley Station, 145th and Southeast Sunnyside, south of Portland, down in Happy Valley. It's a food cart pod that opened shortly after I moved into the extreme Southeast Portland area about four years ago, four and a half years ago. It's had its ups and its downs in terms of cart population, but I'd say right now it's currently at its strongest point ever. Tons of different great food cart options at Happy Valley Station. Batterfish still there, check out that video previously in my Portland Food Focus series if you'd like another example. So, without further ado, Let's get into all three of these delicious, delicious items. We're going to start with the burger. Bite Me Burgers is run out of the same food cart that Grilla Cheese is run out of. It's kind of two businesses in one at this point. I have to give the owner of Grilla Cheese a big time shout out. That video has the most views of any video that I've made and it's by a pretty wide margin. So I'm not quite sure what you did, but it worked on that video. <laughs> the food from Grilla Cheese was excellent. Day like today, grilled cheese, cup of tomato soup, few things hit the spot for me better than that. But one thing that does is a cheeseburger. Comes as no surprise to anybody who watched my last video where I went to Green Bay and ate a bunch of cheeseburgers with my dad. That was a fun one to make. But we're back in Portland trying out Really the only smash burger option in the Happy Valley area. Bite me burgers. So I got the number one. Open it up here. Just right away, look at this burger. The visual appeal is very high. What we've got here is a double cheeseburger with grilled onions, lettuce, pickles, and bite me sauce. Definitely one of the thicker smash burgers that I've had. Giant bun here in a great way. Well, let's take a bite. Mmm, wow. 
Man, before I even say anything, I'm just gonna take another bite. This burger immediately rockets up the list of my favorite smash burgers here in the Portland area. The first thing you get is the bite me sauce, which if you've been to a certain very popular fast food restaurant, you may recognize a similar flavor to one of their sandwiches. They've done it a little more tangy, a little more pickly here at Bite Me Burgers. But then the next thing you get is the combination of the beef and the grilled onions. Are these burger patties as flavorful and delicious as they are because they're grilled on, I presume, the same flat top as grilled cheese sandwiches? Who knows? But the power of suggestion indicates that that might be the case. Very well seasoned patties. You get a nice hit of pickle right at the end of the bite. They've used American cheese, which is my favorite cheese to put on burgers. Yeah, overall, this is just an incredible burger from Bite Me Burgers. This bun is obviously freshly made, very soft. Don't let the size of it fool you. It's very airy and it doesn't get in the way of the main ingredients of a burger. Not unlike the burger from Hilltop Cafe, that I ate with my dad in my previous video. I would definitely suggest getting a double cheeseburger if and when you go to Bite Me Burgers. I think a single might get lost among all the other ingredients, but with that double smash patty, you're getting a nice beef flavor in addition to the complimentary pickle, cheese, onion, and Bite Me sauce flavors. Here's the true testament to how great this burger from Bite Me Burgers is. I've gone to two other places in addition at Happy Valley Station. And so ordinarily I would just take two, three, four bites of each thing. So I to save room for all of the different things that I've gotten. But as you can see here, I'm about to finish up this Bite Me double cheeseburger with no problem and with great enthusiasm because this thing is just super duper tasty. Hmm. One of my more recently adopted philosophies when it comes to ordering food is that when the person taking my order asks if I want the burger prepared a specific way, I'll always just say yes. So in this case, when I ordered the bite me number one, the gentleman asked, do you want fried onions on that? I just said, yep. Ordinarily I get a burger with raw onions, but because the gentleman at bite me today suggested fried onions, just said yes, I'm super glad I did. Those last two bites in particular, perhaps the onions had a chance to soak into the burgers and the buns simultaneously. Big onion flavor, big fried onion flavor on those last two bites and I really, really liked it. Overall, that's gotta be one of the best smash burgers I've had here in the Portland metro area. And if you're down in Happy Valley or even Southeast Portland, you gotta get to Bite Me Burgers to try that. All right, we got a couple other things to try here before we go. Let's do a interlude in between the two sandwiches with some of this pesto mac and cheese from Montage. Huh. So this is Montage a la carte. I believe it's from the same owners as the now closed Le Montage Bistro, which was like a freestanding French restaurant. And I suppose appropriately for that, the person today working at Montage a la carte made me a nice little foil rose to go with my pesto mac and cheese. I went up to the Montage cart today. I knew I wanted to get some mac and cheese, but they've got like five or six different kinds. So I just straight up asked the gentleman, hey, what kind would you recommend? And he said the pesto mac and cheese. So that's what I've ordered today. Let's try a few bites. Oh, wow. This is very interesting looking. You can see that there is a generous helping of cheese on top, as well as the pesto mixed in here with the pasta. Let's mix this up, Let's see how it tastes. Ooh. This looks like it could be the best possible version of the pesto cavatappi experience at Noodles & Company, which was a very popular spot to go when I was in college in Madison, Wisconsin. I have a feeling this is gonna be better. Ooh, this, this box is hot. <laughs> All right, Let's give you a close up here. Very well seasoned pasta covered with that pesto. Let's try a bite. 
Mmm. Holy. Mm. <laughs> Try not to curse on this channel, ladies and gentlemen, but I almost slipped up there. Mmm. I already know I need to like mentally limit myself on this, otherwise I'm gonna eat this whole box. The pesto is floral and buttery all at the same time. Mmm. The extra cheese that they put on top of the pasta just melts over the whole thing as you're eating it. Oh, this is one of the best pasta dishes I think I've ever had. This is certainly the best pesto I've ever had. Wow. Look at that. Just big old pieces of melting cheese. Love that. All right, I'm limiting myself to two more bites. This will reheat spectacularly. Look at that. Might have to use that as the still. Oh, that's good. I'll tell you, you really smell the basil from the box, so I kind of expected like a real bright, sharp basil taste. And it's in there for sure. It is pesto after all, but it is balanced out so nicely by the butteriness of the pasta and the cheese that they put on this. I've taken an especially large scoop here because it will be my last bite of this for now. Mmm. I don't have a lapel, so I'm gonna place the foil rose in between my seatbelt and my person for the time being. What an unbelievable surprise from Montage a la carte. And thank you very much to the person working there, not only for this excellent foil rose, but for the recommendation of the pesto mac and cheese. That's one of the best pasta dishes I've ever had in my entire life. Last but certainly not least, we've got a banh mi sandwich from VN Corner. So full disclosure, this is not a new sandwich to me, but I'm highlighting it in this video for two reasons. So the first reason is that in my Poppy Sal's video a couple weeks back, I mentioned that VN Corner had among the best bread that I've had from a place in Portland. And that remains true. This is that bread, and I always look forward to eating it. To the degree that every time I go to Happy Valley Station, wherever else I order food, I always, always get a bon mi from VN Corner. So again, not a new sandwich to me, but I did want to highlight it because it's one of my favorite sandwiches to get in all of Portland. And I also wanted to highlight VN Corner, run by some awesome people. I'm gonna take a bite close to the camera so you can hear the crispiness of this bread. Mm. We've got your classic banh mi ingredients here. We've got the seasoned pork, shredded carrots, big stalks of cilantro. We've got some cucumbers in here. And I always get mine spicy, because you know I like a spicy sandwich. So this comes with mayo and sriracha. Sometimes they'll put jalapenos on here. Not today, but plenty spicy. I'm not gonna sit here and presume to be an expert on the banh mi. I've had them from a few different places here in Portland. Vietnamese is actually the third most widely spoken language in Oregon behind English and Spanish. And especially if you come out to East Portland, a lot of opportunities for really good Vietnamese food. We've got all kinds of crumbs happening down here because this bread is extremely crusty and crispy on the outside, as you can hear. That plays nicely with the crunchiness of the carrots and the cucumbers. And then obviously the intense flavor brought by the pork, by the sriracha, and by the stalks of cilantro that you get on this banh mi. I don't need to eat any more of that sandwich to know that I'm gonna enjoy it later for leftovers. So overall, wow, what an amazing, amazing trip down to Happy Valley Station. I'd been to grill a cheese before, as some of you had seen, but I'd never really had the full Bite Me Burger experience. Boy, am I glad I took the opportunity to try it. That double cheeseburger is one of the best smash burgers I've had in Portland. And you gotta get down there and give it a try. That Bon Mi sandwich also from VN Corner. It's a standby of mine. Like I said, I literally get that sandwich every time I go to Happy Valley Station. And I'd encourage you to get down here and try that as well. But just in terms of pure wow factor, that pesto mac and cheese from Montage a la carte. I mean, that Bite Me Burger is definitely gonna be high on my list of burgers that I've had in Portland. This pesto mac is high on the list of anything that I've eaten in the Portland area. If their other food, and especially their other mac and cheese options, 
are anywhere near as good as this Pesto Mac, I'm gonna be a happy guy during this rainy season here in Portland when it gets a little colder and something like a steamy box of mac and cheese with some awesome flavors inside sounds like just the right thing. So that's my latest trip to Happy Valley Station. My third for these videos, probably my favorite yet. And I got a little foil rose. All right, back from my trip to Happy Valley Station, my car still smells like garlic and pesto in the best way. I hope this aroma remains in my car for at least the next few days. It'll be a nice treat every time I get in. The burger from Bite Me Burgers, one of the best I've had in town. Excellent, excellent burger patties themselves. The fried onions on top added that little extra bit of unctuousness that puts that flavor over the top. Love the Bite Me sauce, the pickles, and the bun. Nothing bad about that burger at all, and it's one I'd recommend getting ASAP. The VN Corner Bon Me, like I said, it's a spicy standby. I get it every time I go down to Happy Valley Station just because it's so reliable and consistent and delicious. Plenty of banh mi options here in Portland. I'd love to explore some more, but for the time being, I can strongly recommend the banh mi sandwich from VN Corner. But I think the star of the show, and honestly, one of the best things I've eaten throughout the course of the entire series of videos I've been doing dating back nearly a year at this point was that pesto mac from Montage a la carte. Oh, I'm a guy who loves pasta a lot. So I've eaten quite a bit over the course of my life, sit down, take out, etc. And this has got to be among the best pasta dishes I've ever had in my 37 years of life. The pesto was perfectly balanced against the cheesiness of the mac and the butteriness of the pasta. I mean, what more can I say than I haven't already said during my rave review when I was eating it? So that pesto mac, easily one of the best things I've had this year, and I can't wait to go back to Montage to try some more food from there. That's gonna do it for today's video. Thanks so much for watching. Always appreciate it. If you wanna see more of my content, you know exactly what to do. Take care.